I'm Kay Asafanyo. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to crochet this top. For this tutorial, you can use any fingering weight yarn but I will be using this polyester yarn from Rojas Yarn. I will be putting the shop link in the description box below. We will also be using the 2.5mm hook pair of scissors, weaving needle, tape measure, and stitch markers. Start with a slip knot and make a chain with a total of odd number and make sure it's long enough to wrap around your under bust. So I made a total of 127 chains, additional 2 double service or first double crochet, and then double crochet on the 4th chain from hook across. After you finish your first row, we will start our second row with chain 3, turn your work and make back loop double crochet in the next stitch across. For our third row, start with chain 3, turn your work, and this time make front loop double crochet on the next stitches across. For row 4 onwards, repeat alternating row 2 and row 3 until its height is enough to cover from your waist up to your under bust. For my size, I made a total rows of 10 and on the last row, determine the center stitch and put a stitch marker on it. We will continue making rows in the next rows will be the rows that will cover our chest area. So to continue, start with chain 3. Turn your work and make double crochet in the next stitch across. This time, yarn over, pull through two loops. When you reach the stitch marker, instead of making a double crochet on that stitch, make a single crochet and then continue on the next stitches with double crochet across. For the next row, we will just repeat the same process on the previous row, making a single crochet on top of the single crochet from the previous row.
we've already made two rows and if you have a bigger boob size, make three rows with single crochet as a center stitch. After that, we continue adding more rows with the same process but with increasing single crochets. As you can see, I'm already here at the center stitch. And to increase our single crochet, you will just add single crochet before and after the single crochet from the previous row. Make two rows with three single crochets as a center stitch. And for bigger boob size, make that three rows. After 2 or 3 rows, we will again increase our single crochets by adding single crochet before and after the 3 single crochet stitch. Again, make 2 rows of this process for small sizes and 3 rows for the bigger one. We continue adding rows while increasing our single crochets until it's enough to cover our chest. it should look like this next step is the strap to determine where to attach the strap try to wrap it around your body and in this part put your stitch marker attach your stitch marker at least 10 stitches away from the edge. To attach the strap, insert your hook from where your stitch marker is and from there make a slip knot and start with chain 3. Double crochet in the next stitch. from in between these two stitches. Again, chain 3 and make double crochet from in between the previous two stitches. Repeat the process until it reaches the back part. And from time to time, try to, to put it against your body to make sure it doesn't get too tight or too loose. So I made a total of 30 and before attaching the strap, make sure it's not twisted. Then to attach, make a double crochet slip stitch in between your last two double crochet chain three and slip stitch on the next stitch from your last double crochet before we make the ruffles 
determine first which side will be your front and you see this side with the textured line this will be our front and then after determining the outside part of the strap start with chain 3 and make 3 double crochets in each hole After we finish our row 1, start our row 2 with chain 3 and this time we will be making the V stitches. To make the V stitches, skip 1 stitch, double crochet next stitch, chain 3, double crochet on the same stitch, then it should look like this. Then next skip 2 stitches. And on the next stitch, make double crochet, chain 3, double crochet on the same stitch. Repeat that process across. start with chain 3 and then make back loop V stitches in each of the center chains of the V stitches after that repeat row 3 two more times With a total of 5 rows of these stitches, insert your hook in each row and then slip stitch. After that, we will now make our last row. It will be a row of, again, V stitches, but instead of 3 chains, make that 4, stitche, four chains to get that arc effect.
after our last row, insert your hook again in each row and then slip stitch. Chain 1, fasten the yarn and cut. After that, it should look like this. We will just repeat the very same process on the other strap, but the last time we started on the front side, this time on the other strap we will start at the back side. Don't forget to make sure that you're making the ruffles on the outer side of the strap. For our back crisscross lace, I just made a chain of at least 250. You can make it longer just to make sure it's enough. This top is inspired from my previous tutorial, Olive Top, which has now 13,000 views as of the moment I am filming this video so I hope you all would love this one too We're done. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, 
subscribe and click that bell button for you to get notified on my future uploads. Thank you.